hey welcome back to the channel and if you're new here welcome to the channel I know it's been a while since I put out a video uh, just been super busy with work and haven't been able to find the time to get around to editing this but uh, yeah here it is this is a trip that me and my buddy took in right around the middle of September and the objective of this trip was to really stay on pavement because I'm not really able to ride off-road right now knee is still healing don't want to do anything to mess that up so we put together this trip um, stringing together all of the twistiest and curviest roads we could find from Central Oregon out through Eastern and Northeastern Oregon and uh, I was really looking forward to this route and riding some of these roads. Uh, most of them I hadn't been on, especially on a motorcycle. And it looked like we had a lot of really fun stretches of pavement in store. But uh, yeah, I kept this video lighter, didn't pack a bunch of camera gear. So it's literally just GoPro, cell phone, and uh, the Osmo Pocket that I used to film this. It was kind of refreshing, keeping things light, and uh, yeah, really just recording things. So going to be a lot of you know voiceover in certain areas and just footage of these pretty roads and the scenery. So enough blabbling. Um, day one right here, we're heading out through Bryanville and um, making our way towards John Day, ultimately Sumter, and we'll be camping our first night in Anthony Lakes. This wouldn't be our first encounter with wild turkeys. We <laughs> ended up seeing them quite a few times on this trip and really the only wildlife um, we actually saw on this trip. Not much for deer or anything else for that matter. ended up stopping in John Day to top up on gas as well as stretch our legs and grab some lunch. From here, we headed out of John Day East, making our way towards Sumter. On our way out of John Day, it was very clear that there was some weather up on the horizon. Now, we didn't anticipate thunderstorms. We checked the forecast for John Day and there wasn't any thunderstorms in the forecast there but this was definitely a thunderstorm. So we pulled over, checked our weather apps, and it was very clear that this was basically right where we wanted to go. It was cruising up through Sumter and we were just hoping that we could stay out of the rain. Luckily for us, the storm stayed a bit more east and the route we were on actually turned north, so we pretty much skirted the western side of the storm and avoided all the rain. Now I rode this same section of road out of Sumter last year on my 1090 and it is a night and day difference between the 1090 and the Norton. The Norton is so much more maneuverable and lighter feeling and I don't know it just feels really great and secure around these corners. I've been having a blast with it on this trip.
just stopped here as they're doing some pavement. It's a nice brand new paved road. Now I hadn't been up in this area before and it's really cool getting into these places of the state that just have a different feel to them. There was a lot of granite rock around here and just really awesome vistas. It had a totally different feel than what I'm used to. This one right here. Oh yeah, we're gonna squeak. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> I'm just gonna park right here, I think. All right, we just got to camp here. Nice little spot, pretty quiet little campground. Weather's pretty good, it's probably about 50 degrees out right now, but gonna go ahead and get the tents all set up and probably start cooking dinner. It's almost five o'clock now, pretty tired, and might be a little bit chilly tonight. You'll notice that we stay in campgrounds a lot on these motorcycle trips, and that's really just because they're convenient. And for us, when we're on the motorcycle, it's really about the journey in between the campsites. That's why we're out here riding, not necessarily the destination at the end of the day. So campgrounds are great for that. They also provide fire pits and tables and stuff, you know, things that are in short supply on a motorcycle as well as like bathrooms. So it's just convenient on a motorcycle when you don't have as much stuff with you like I do when I'm driving in the truck. Dinner tonight, risotto with chicken. Looks pretty good, give you guys an update. Getting water boiled. It's a really nice night tonight. That's all I see, man. Maybe it's because, uh, maybe a Google, maybe it's just the Google Analytics is like feeding me everything I want to see, but it's like, just like, <laughs> it's just like blackouts, doomsday iceberg, it's like. Probably. It's like. Well, today's ride was pretty good. Um, man, there's just so many great roads out here in Eastern Oregon and all the pavement was awesome. I mean, I, yeah, couldn't really ask for better routes. I'm looking forward to what's in store for tomorrow. Um, we glocked out on the rain. We were heading towards that storm and luckily it kept off to the east so we didn't run into that. So that was pretty awesome. But it's just time for dinner now. I've got this uh, risotto with chicken from Backpacker's Pantry and it sounds really good. Uh, I'm sure it will be pretty good, but I'll let you guys know after I eat that. So, but yeah, just got camps all set up over here. And uh, this is a nice little, nice little campground. We're here at Anthony Lakes Campground, and this is a pretty cool little spot. Um, not too busy right now, pretty quiet. But it's about, let me check the time real quick, 5.05 .05 right now. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to eat. I don't know. Hopefully we don't get any rain tonight, but somebody said there might be some thunderstorms. So we'll see. 
but yeah, all in all, pretty good day. Looking forward to tomorrow. I think we did about 280 miles today, 260. So honestly, not too bad. Left at about 8.45, got here at around 3.30. Um, but yeah, pretty good day on the bike. This has been an awesome trip so far. When we came out of Ukiah, we came out. Hefner. Why does that sound so familiar though? Oh yeah. Rosetta with chicken and a tortilla. Oh, that was really good. Gansky's getting the wood. The wood. Sawing it up. Should have brought my saw. I would help you. <laughs> yeah, give me it. I'll go over there. Dude, this thing's huge. Oh, this is the big boy. I've only got the little boy, I think. That's the outcast version. The handle? Yeah. I ain't. This thing's so big, it doesn't even fit in the camera. <laughs> This is a chunky piece of wood. Oh yeah, get in there. I was like, well, this is an educate. This is an expensive education and endurance. But I thought I did it. I put it like on my policy of Geico, but like, in thinking that they're just gonna send me a thing in the mail to pay. Uh huh. And I never got one, so I was like, this is weird. Like, cause. Oh shit. But. I don't even. <laughs> talk about stupid mistakes that you hate. It's like. Fuck, oh it's yeah. Like bucks. After dinner, we sat next to the fire, talking about the day we had, as well as what lay ahead tomorrow. It was really nice to have this warm fire this evening. We were up at about 7,000 feet elevation, so it was definitely getting cold, and we knew it was going to be frosty tonight. So it's nice to warm up by the fire and not have to, you know, basically get in your tent right after dinner to stay warm. Um, so super awesome. Glad we were able to find some wood nearby and enjoy this. All right, so it's the end of day one, and just got into bed. It's a bit early, probably about 8.40ish. It's probably going to be cold tonight in the mid to upper 30s, I bet. It's already pretty chilly out right now, so we'll see. Might be a cold ride out of here in the morning, but we're about 7,200 feet tonight. Um, so I think this will be the highest uh, camp for this trip so uh, tomorrow night should be a little bit warmer at a lower elevation but yeah i'm tired i'm gonna hit the hay i'll catch you guys in the morning hey good morning just got down here to the lake to kind of watch the sun come up. It was a pretty cold night last night. I mean, I stayed warm in my sleeping bag, but definitely had to be tucked in. Um, there was a bunch of moisture on everything and frost on the bikes this morning. So definitely got down to, to freezing, but I think it's starting to warm up a little bit already. Um, it'll warm up as we drop down the mountain here. I think we're going to go from 7,200 feet to around 3,000 feet. So that should make a pretty big difference. But yeah, it's a really beautiful morning right now. Not too smoky. A lot of the smoke's cleared out from the fires that have been around here. And it should be a pretty good morning. So just going to take in the scenes here for a little bit and get some breakfast made, get everything all packed up, and then we're going to get on the road. You're so small, kitty. Oh, the purring. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You feel skinny, buddy. You feel skinny. 
Where'd you come from? There's a lot of birds. Where'd you come from? Oh, yeah, that was a big scratch. Yeah. All right, breakfast time. Breakfast this morning is the same as my last trip. Peanut butter, oatmeal with banana. Probably one of my favorite actual breakfasts. Mm. Oh, and last night's risotto with chicken. Really good. Highly recommend. The poor little cat. I don't know whose it is, but we're at a campground and I don't know if it's somebody staying here or it's lost or whatever. Wish I could take it with us and drop it off somewhere, but kind of hard to do on a motorcycle. So I hope somebody can, I hope it's somebody's here and it goes back to wherever it came or something. Poor little thing. Well, I'm just going to finish up breakfast and then start packing things up and get back on the road. Well, I just dropped that cat off with the camp host. Apparently it is somebody's at one of these camps here. Hopefully it gets taken care of. The little thing is so cute. I wish I could take it with me, but it's kind of difficult on a motorcycle. But anyways, we're gonna go back, pack things up and get on the road. Back on the road, we started heading down the mountain, yeah. making our way towards the town of North Powder. We were blessed again with another day nice of morning. awesome weather to go along with these awesome roads and the scenery that we had around us. Stopped and had a second breakfast at this little cafe here in North Powder. Pretty good. Time to get back on the road and head up, making our way to what is it, Highway 204? 24. Highway 204. Should be lots of curves. Looking forward to it. So we had to make our second stop of the day after having breakfast in North Powder, and this one was stopping in this small little town of Union, Oregon to get gas. We had a long day ahead of us and about 280 or so miles, so it was a pretty big day. One thing I like about these trips is all these little towns that you get to go through and see that you probably otherwise wouldn't you know, really go to during any sort of normal trip, especially in a car. Um, so it's really cool getting off the beaten path and, you know, coming through these small little towns and just seeing new areas. As we made our way north, we got onto Highway 204 and made our way up into the Blue Mountains. Now this is a new area to me, I've never been here before. And there's always something exciting about going through a new area that you hadn't been. And I definitely like that we're climbing up in elevation, getting back into the pine trees. Now 
Now the pine trees and elevations were short-lived. We begin descending down into the rolling farmlands of northern Oregon where there's not a lot going on. This was probably my least favorite part of the trip, mainly because it was really windy, so it was a constant battle with the wind. If it wasn't so windy, it probably would have been pretty good. We just rolled into camp a little bit ago. Did about 280 miles today. Got in here about 4.30ish, so riding from about nine to nine to almost five, basically. Pretty long day, a lot of wind and open spaces, as you saw. Um, we don't have very much left tomorrow. I think another 130 miles or something like that, but it should be a pretty good, um, morning. I think it's gonna be another cold night tonight though, probably in the low 30s based on the weather report, but hopefully not as um, damp as last night. But yeah, either way, gonna get the tent all set up and get some dinner rolling. All right, so tonight's meal is a chicken and rice from Mountain House. It's got red bell peppers, carrots, and celery, and then I've just got some gluten-free tortillas here that I'm putting it in. It's like a little mini burrito. So good. I really like these freeze-dried meals because it's just easy. It's one less thing to worry about when I get to camp. Uh, one less thing to worry about packing at home and preparing ahead of time. So yeah, kind of like to take the shortcut on uh, camp food just so I don't have to worry about it. And I know that I have something good. Uh, that's not going to take a ton of work at the end of a long day of riding. <clears throat> but today's ride was pretty good. Um, I think yesterday was a better part of the trip. I definitely like the mountains and the hills uh, and the trees more. But saw some pretty cool stuff today. And also, I mean, definitely some really cool sections that we rode today. But it was pretty windy. So that kind of detracted from it a bit. Um, but yeah, no, all in all, it's been a really awesome ride. Um, Gansky walked up to the little board for this campground just to check and see if we can have a fire. Hopefully we can have a fire. It's starting to cool off a little bit, but, um, yeah, when you're camping, especially on a motorcycle and you don't have really much source of light, a fire kind of becomes the only thing. And the sun's about to set here in the next few minutes anyways, at about seven. So it's going to start getting dark. And it's, you know, still a couple hours before we go to sleep. But yeah, um, the Husky, the 901's been doing awesome. I'm just super, super stoked on that bike. And, excuse me, um, for me, it's, it's really, yeah, a much better bike for me than the 1090 was. I, I just love its size. It still feels really good on the road. Uh, you know, definitely big enough to battle the winds and stuff like that, but it's also just so much more nimble and so much more fun in the corners and the twisties. And yeah, I just think it's I mean, so far such an all around good bike. Looking forward to getting out on more trips. I don't know if we'll be getting out on any more trips this year. It already is the middle of September, so it's gonna start getting cold here soon anyways. But definitely next year, wanna get out on more rides. But yeah, all in all, this has been a good trip. We've only got about like two hours of riding left to do in the morning, so we should be home before noon and uh, hopefully it's not too cold here in the morning so we can get a nice early start and uh, hopefully not be freezing our fingers off. All 
Good morning. We just got up and uh, it wasn't really, uh, it wasn't that cold last night. Not as cold as I was expecting it to be. There was no frost on anything this morning. So that's super awesome. Not a bunch of wet, dewy stuff to put away this morning, but I already got oatmeal made and in my belly. So now we're just packing things up, just to have the tent left to put away. Then we're going to jump on the road and head home. Um, yeah, like two and a half hours or so of riding. Gonna go um, kind of pretty much due west and check out the um, towns of Shanico and uh, Antelope, I believe. And uh, yeah, ride through that way. Haven't ridden my motorcycle this way before, so it'll be a new experience, but the sun's up. It is another beautiful morning out here, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back on the bike this morning. Fogging up over here. That's everything. So I'm fogging up over here. All right. We were blessed to have truly great weather for this trip every single day and this last day was no different. Um, it's just, I don't know, something about being up and on the bike early in the morning as the sun's coming up and nobody's really out is just pretty magical. Thank you. 
So this really wraps up this journey. I had a ton of fun on this trip and I'm super excited that I was able to get out on a bigger trip on this bike this year. I really didn't think I was gonna be able to with my ACL injury earlier in the year. So this was definitely kind of a, a pleasant surprise and uh, I just can't help but you know think about and feel how grateful I am that we have so much of this awesome stuff pretty close by and then I get to ride my bike through these awesome areas. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you guys in the next one.